Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you the way uh, to select two random items and display them on the page. Uh, these items will be selected from a, a list of items and these items will not be the same. So I have a collection of some items. I have name, uh, ID and this, uh, these two properties we don't care about this. Uh, I need only these uh, properties which I will be using in this uh, video demo. And this is the uh, random item screen. So uh, let's start first to uh, create uh, properties in user database for the logged in user, uh, for the first random item and for the second random item. So uh, this will be a number. Uh, it will be random ID one. And another number will be random ID two. Uh, okay, now then uh, let me prepare the lists of uh, random, item, uh, random items. Uh, it will be a custom list. I will make it a bit smaller, like uh, this. And the list of some items. On a title, I will display the item title and here I will display the ID. Uh, and of course, uh, this list needs to be filtered. Uh, it will be filtered, uh, not just all, uh, all some items, but the ID should be equal to logged in users random ID one. So uh, then I will simply copy this list and create a second one. It will be the same list of some items, but uh, it will be filtered by the ID, which is equal to logged in users uh, random ID two. Uh, for the debugging purposes, uh, let me add the text label. This will be for random ID one and, and I will copy this one and create the same for random ID two. Great. So uh, now let's start implementing the logic of this uh, selecting of random items. So uh, in general, it's easy to select the uh, random item uh, by itself. However, uh, the challenge is that uh, these two random items should not be similar. Uh, I'm going to use a marketplace component for that. But before, uh, before we go into the screen, uh, I need to initialize the first random item. So here I will add an update uh, logged in user action and I will set random item as a function random from one to five. As you remember, we have IDs from one to five and they are all integers. So uh, great. When we uh, do this operation, when we arrive on this screen, the random item number one is selected. But now I need to uh, select the uh, second random item. and. For this, I'm going to use the marketplace component, which is called a random picker. Uh, I've already installed it. Uh, this is how it looks like. It's a button. Uh, the beauty of this component is that uh, you can select a collection of some items. And uh, this is a kind of a list. Uh, the component inside is a list. And uh, you can filter this list uh, to display not all the items, to use not all the items for randomized picking, but only some of them. So what I'm doing is I'm filtering this list of not just all items, but the ID should not be equal to logged in user random ID one. 
So this means that when I press this button, it will select some random item from the list, but it will not be the uh, item with random ID one, which means that uh, we have solved the problem for the second random ID, which should not be equal to the first one. Uh, and uh, I don't really uh, uh, need to display any text uh, because it's uh, just the uh, action button. Uh, but I need to adjust on uh, what's going to happen on the click action. So on the click action, I need to uh, add uh, to update uh, login user to set the second random item to be to display the list. So here I'm going to we have a random ID too, and I'm setting it to the some item ID which has been selected in this uh, randomizer random picker component. So this is the uh, first part of the implementation. However, uh, after I press run, uh, I want to be able to kind of reselect or two random items to see without necessity of going to the previous screen. So I'm going to do the following. Uh, for uh, the user's collection, I will add the property uh, random show. Uh, and before going to this screen, I'm going to set this property to false. Uh, and this run uh, button will be, the random picker will be visible only if uh, logged in user random show is set to false. And also upon running the, uh, pressing the button, I select take this, this randomized randomized item uh, update the uh, yes here I take this randomized item update the second uh, random ID and then I set random show to true uh, and to reset it back I will just add the button here let's call it reset or restart uh, and with this restart button I'm going to update logged in user and set random show back to false and select the first random ID again from one to five and uh, as I probably want uh, the list to, sh to be shown only after the second item has uh, been uh, selected I will make a group and this group gonna be visible only when logged in user random show is set to true. So let's talk through the logic once again. Uh, here I have random items button. I generate the first randomized ID and I set random show to false, which means that I will have only this random picker visible here. Uh, random picker selects the item from this collection uh, and this uh, it will be a random item but this item will not be the one uh, with the ID from random ID one. So we are sure that the second one is not the same as the first one. And uh, upon pressing the button uh, I update the random picker, update the uh, second property of random ID and set random show to true. Then when random show sets is true, uh, this group is displayed, uh, which is has the first list with like first ID, second list with second ID. And upon restarting, I just regenerate the first random ID and set random show back to false. Uh, let's test how it works. So two random items. As you can see, the first random ID is five. Let's run. 
Let's restart. You see that second random ID is changing. And they're always different. Uh, so this is the way to use random picker component uh, to generate, uh, to select the random items uh, from the list. Uh, this component has uh, some other capabilities which are quite interesting and I hope to maybe uh, explain them in, in the further videos. Uh, thank you, I hope it was useful and see you soon.